welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm so sorry about my voice. I have a slight cold and I'm still recovering. So sorry about my voice being very nasal and thick. So um, yeah, so in this video, I'm going to recreate this look. Uh, this was actually uh, worn by Selena Gomez and Ruthie actually uh, requested that I do this look over on Twitter. So thank you so much, Ruthie. It's because of you I found this look out and I'm so happy to recreate it for you. So this look was originally created by Hung Van Gogh. So he's a very, very popular celebrity makeup artist and he does like makeup for like almost like all the cool people. So he does for like, I think Miranda Kerr, he does for Kate Moss, like all the other supermodels out there. And what he does is that he posts like selfies that the celebrity took wearing his makeup. So it's really cool. You guys should definitely follow his um, Instagram. So basically, Han created this look for Selena to um, go for the Hollywood Reporter interview and the cover uh, picture. So basically, uh, she was celebrating the highest Instagram followers along with Kevin Hart and the owner of Instagram, whose name is Kevin, I think. I think even his name is Kevin, right? The owner of Instagram. I'm not sure so yeah basically they had like an interview and like a cover picture where she was wearing this makeup and I really really liked it as soon as Ruthie sent me the picture I went um, on a hunt to find out where the pictures uh, were from and also I watched all her interviews and the videos just so that I could see the makeup from like another angle and uh, I, I was like really impressed with the look it's such a fierce look yet very neutral and I think this look will photograph really well I think it's not showing up as pretty on camera I like the camera is not doing justice at all but it's really pretty in real life and I think it will photograph really well so if you guys would want to see how I created this then keep on watching so I'm starting off with the hairstyle first and for that you're gonna need a fine tooth comb like this and you're also gonna need a rubber band uh, some bobby pins and a hairspray this one is the Sebastian reshaper and it's a really like small handy one that you can carry anywhere so basically I'm just going to section off this part of my hair like so and then I'm just going to start teasing this she seemed to have a little bit of volume over here and then I'm just going to hairspray it a little bit just so that the volume stays I'm also going to tease my fringes a little bit because it's small so it can fall out so just a tiny bit not too much I think this much is enough like so And then I'm just going to take my entire hair back into a tight ponytail. I have a really bad cold. So she had a straight hair but I was too lazy and I don't have the energy to straighten all of my hair now because it takes forever. like so so you have like this really nice bump over here and then the ponytail so what I'm gonna do now is just comb it out like so just so that it's very neat and if you have baby hair go ahead and hairspray your hands like this and then just press it on top of your hair like this and all the baby hair will sit down so let's move on to the makeup now first I'm going to moisturize my face and I'm using the drops of light range so I'm using the serum first I'm going to apply that all over my face and then I'm going to take the drops of light brightening day cream and apply that all over my face it's really hydrating I'm also going to apply some lip balm before we get started with the makeup 
Next, I'm going to take a primer. This is the new pack uh, Studio Finish Primer, and I'm just going to take like one pump of it. It's a clear primer, and I'm using it for the first time today. Using my fingers to spread it. It's quite mattifying. Now, before I apply foundation, I'm going to color correct and I'm going to use this green concealer over here to apply it onto the redness over here. Like, I have some acne um, which is like dying right now, so it's quite red. So, I'm just going to apply the green concealer just on top of that. I'm also taking it around my nose area because I have a cold, so it's quite red at the moment. And then I'm going to take this brush, which is the number 05 brush, and just gently uh, blend that. So for foundation today, I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I'm in the shade NC42 and I can't open the bottle because my hand's too slippery after using that primer and moisturizer. Oh, I can't do this. So I'm going to spread the foundation all over my face first. And then to blend the foundation, today I'm going to use the YBP Makeup Perfector in Lust. This is the black one. I'm just bouncing the sponge on my skin. Next, I'm going to take the Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer and I'm going to use that like underneath my eyes and like onto the corners of my nose and on my chin and on my forehead to highlight my face. And I'm going to use the sponge again to blend it all in. Now I'm just going to set my concealer using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm going to use the same sponge to do so. Okay, so now let's move on to the eyebrows. I'm going to use this one which is from the Face Shop. This is the Design My Eyebrow and I think this is in the shade number 3. Now let's move on to the eyes and first I'm going to create that shape that she has going on. So it's like a really sharp winged and it's like really dramatic. It goes all the way up to her crease as well. So first I'm just going to take this powder right here and use that underneath my eyebrows. So I'm going to carve out the shape using a black eyeshadow. Uh, this one's from the Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm going to use an angled brush. So I'm starting off with the powder first because it's much easier to work with and you can correct the mistakes really well um, instead of starting off with the gel liner. So later on I'm going to darken it up using a gel liner. So I'm starting off from like the um, area where my lower lash line ends and then I'm just pulling it outwards. Like so. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side. Now I'm going to carve out the inner half and then join both the lines together. So you can even see the eyeliner when she has her eyes completely open. So I have to go like a little above my crease so that you can see it even when I'm opening my eyes. So I'm keeping my eyes open and following my natural crease line. and then connecting it to that wing. So 
so as you can see the eye eyeshadow has like deposited where my eyes creases naturally so I'm going to extend the liner till there now I'm going to repeat the same thing but using gel liner I'm just going to extend it a little further now that I've applied the um, gel liner I'm going to set it again using the eyeshadow so that the gel liner doesn't crease it's already starting to crease a little Next, I'm going to take the pack Intense Duo Eyeliner Pencil and apply that onto my waterline. And then I'm going to take the brush once again, dip it in black eyeshadow and make it a little thicker on the bottom lashes as well and connect it to the winged liner outside. Then I'm going to take the uh, kajal once again and use that to tight line my upper lash line. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. Then I'm going to apply thin layer mascaras because I'm going to wear falsies. Next I'm going in with falsies. This is the pack 518E. So I'm just wearing this which is like very natural looking but it will still give that fuller look. So I'm just going to place that onto my eyes and I'm going to come back. Now the only thing left for my eyes is to highlight it just a little bit. She didn't seem to have a lot of highlight going on uh, but like a little bit over here on this section of the eyes. Uh, so I'm just going to take this one which isn't that shimmery like this one's really shimmery so this one's like semi matte so I'm going to take this to highlight the inner corner of the eyes so that's it for the eye it's completely done and I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back so she had a really nice um, nose contour going on as well so I'm going to use this shade um, it's quite light so it's going to be very subtle but uh, very defined nonetheless I'm also going to contour my cheekbones and I'm not going to use any blush because she didn't seem to have a lot of blush but a really defined beautiful brown contour so I'm going to start off with this color first and then gradually build the color to this one so that it's not too dark and I can work with it She didn't seem to have like a really white shimmery eye highlighter as well. So I'm just going to take this one. I use the same uh, for like my inner corner highlight.
Now I'm just going to take a little bit more of this yellow highlighter powder and I'm going to use that to sharpen my contour. So I'm just buffing everything in. This is the Real Techniques buffing brush and this is like before I go ahead and apply my lipstick. Just making sure everything is nicely blended. And for lipstick today, I'm going to use the Stila um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love this range. I have the shade uh, Beso, which is like a really beautiful red. And this is in the shade Dolce. So it's a really nice nude. And Selena was wearing something very cool toned and nude and brown. So I think the shade would be perfect. I'm just going to take the hairspray once again and just tame all my fly aways because all my baby hair started standing up. She had really sleek hair. So this is the finished look. I think it turned out exactly like hers. I couldn't have been like happier. Um, I just realized that this is very similar to uh, the Deepika Padukone's look that I did. The only difference is that this has the liner on the lower lash line as well instead of hers, like which only had it on the upper lash line. Um, so yeah, I think it just turned out super duper perfect. I'm so excited about it. Um, so yeah. That's it for this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!